and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pamela and I put out beauty related videos on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Yeah! I wanted to let you guys know that for the next three weeks, I'm going to be a little bit on the busy side. Um, I am going to pre-record a bunch of videos, so if you see me wearing the same makeup or the same shirt, let's just all kind of get over it. So, yeah, today's video is obviously my updated brow routine from what you read in the title. I have since stepped away from any sort of pencil uh, or micro pencil liner and have moved back to powders because I think powder brows are just so much easier now and honestly they look a lot more natural to me and you know for whatever reason so I'm gonna quit on babbling and let's just get right into it yes I am gonna use the brow gal by Tanya Brooks it is a really really good powder I, I love that you know it comes with the three shades um, I can mix a little bit of two together to sort of create the perfect shade for my brows only rule that I know about brows always make sure that you pencil or you know fill them in with a shade that's a little bit lighter than your actual natural hair color if you apply a product that's exactly identical to your hair it's gonna make your eyebrows look really really bold and really really like heavy it, I, I think it's that's the right word they look a little fake that's what it is I'm I'm all about the natural brow compared to one of those um, I guess Instagram like cartoony brows is what I like to call them because they they look a little bit fake um, so yeah the thing I want to mention is I don't have any foundation on because I want to show you how I clean them after I apply uh, my brow powder product or whatever the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my spoolie. I'm basically going to brush my hairs all the way up. I'm going to sort of comb them this way. When I've got like the desired shape or form of them, I'm gonna go into the brow powder. I'm going to use a combination of these two shades. And I'm basically just going to be dipping back and forth into them. And then what I like to do is basically start right here, which is like the very beginning of my brow. Then, you know, going back in with more product. I always tap off the excess too, just so you know. I go up here in this part of the brow because this part of the brow is missing a little bit of hair right there. So I go back in with some product, tap off the excess, and just fill a little bit of this part of my brow here already looks like a better brow yeah using only the middle shade I'm going to apply just a little bit into the tail for now I'm gonna go back in with a mixture of the two shades again and do this part of my tail again just to darken that up a little bit and then continue to fill in the rest of my brow without any additional product I'm gonna take the brush and sort of run this upwards see how the hairs are now standing up a little bit and then I'm gonna turn the brush to its side like this and then go up as well. Since the brow is looking a little bit on the harsh side, I'm gonna take the spoolie and I'm gonna go ahead and comb my brow starting from the very bottom here and go upwards. And then I just like to lay the hairs in place. And that's basically how I fill my brow. I'm gonna do the other one for you too. Looking fabulous girls okay for brow cleanup there are two different ways that you know I would recommend to you I am only gonna show you one first one is the one that everybody does and that's basically taking their concealer and sort of you know mapping out their brows um, and then cleaning up underneath but what I like to do is I like to go in with my foundation so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this take my um, foundation brush if you watched my July favorites you know that I love this brush and I'm just going to apply my foundation all over my face real quick and then um, if you're you know I don't want to say a pro but if you've been doing it this way for as long as I have I would just use my same you know brush to sort of carve out my brows as such and as you could see this this brush is a nice like 
very like, you know, flexible or bendable. So it's very, very easy to get in between um, those areas or in between my brows. But if you're not experienced or if you're a little bit scared to get over your brows, then I would suggest using um, something like this. It's a regular foundation brush. It's flat. So whatever flat brush you have, um, you can take, you know, whatever product, you can take whatever product is left and sort of uh, clean around your brows that way and now I've got two perfect brows okay I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then we'll come back for the brow gel okay okay so now that my whole face is done I have done all my powders my sprays you know nothing else is going to disrupt my brows I go with brow gel and I have two different ones that I really like and I wanted to share with you um, I really like the brow this way by Rimmel however it does disperse a lot of product so I do end up you know doing this and this is basically the one that I've been using for a long time now um, it's almost out and so I decided to pick up the elf one this is the clear uh, mascara and brow gel I have used this before this was my ride or die brow gel because it's only two dollars it's super like reliable like my brows wouldn't go anywhere after I put on this and um, I don't use the other side for eyelashes or you know mascara I literally use both sides for just brow gel I'm gonna go ahead and just go in with this one. That's all I've got for you guys today. So hopefully you enjoyed my little updated brow routine. And if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and spread my love for makeup. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Ow, I hurt myself. <laughs>